that if had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesting yesterday, there wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been treated very, very differently. Really? They got away with police being told to stand down and prosecutors not filing charges when they created chairs and chop and burnt neighborhoods, businesses and got away with it. Now, I have long believed that there are two systems of justice, one for the rich and one for the poor. I even wrote a book about it. He killed them all how the rich get away with crimes, and the poor don't have the ability to mount a defense or influence public opinion. Today, I still believe that there are two systems of justice, two systems of outrage, but today there's one for the left and one for the right. It seems the rules are applied unequally, and we have lived under incredible tension on top of that for the last year. And as predictable as day after night, big tech has followed up on what they gave us a taste of pre-election. Last night, when Twitter said it would permanently ban President Trump from his platform of 88 million followers, the slide down the slippery slope began. Censorship in the United States is the biggest threat to our freedom right now. Social media is the broadcast medium of our generation. It's how we communicate. It's how we get news. It's how we share our thoughts, persuade, dissuade, argue. It's how we laugh, emote. There is a reason freedom of speech is in the First Amendment. It is the essence of our American way. And suddenly, Silicon Valley, Jack Dorsey and company, they get to decide what speech is acceptable anointing themselves as arbiters of whether what the right says is allowed to be heard? The amazing part is that the United States Supreme Court has repeatedly held that even hate speech is protected speech, that it cannot be regulated because it's part of our fundamental right of free speech under the First Amendment. Now, I don't like it when Kamala Harris goes on Twitter to raise money for criminals who come out and commit crimes again. But I would fight for her right to say it under the Constitution. And amazingly, even the ACLU is joined to criticize the move by Twitter. And now Apple is threatening conservative leaning parlor with removal from its platform. When you are removed, censored, canceled from these platforms, you are then the subject of attack, assault, derision, even dismissal from your job. If you're on the left, however, you're rewarded with a job or you become the head of a department at a university.